Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of Insights powered by Content Exchange. My name is Christian and every other day we bring to you the key news stories and data points that move content markets and hence your business. Today it's Wednesday and on Wednesday we always take a quick look at what the data tells us on our Insights platform. Um, so let me quickly share my screen to give you a little bit more more guidance here. Um, first off, we look at our Exchange Sentiment Index, XCSI, uh, where we can concurrently ask industry participants whether they expect container prices to increase or decrease in the weeks to come. Um, and out of that, we uh, construct an index. And a value above zero um, indicates a sort of positive sentiment. Um, the majority of uh, interest surveyed participants expect an increase in prices while a value below zero um, means the opposite. So the majority expects a decrease in prices. And as you can see here, um, since um, mid-July, the index is trending in significant positive territory. Um, so you see that uh, the industry is overall very optimistic with regards to prices for the remainder of uh, the year. Um, and of course, uh, we're very curious to see whether that actually um, holds true in light, of course, of overcapacity both on the vessel as well as the container side. Um, let's then look at sort of the insights trading dashboard. These are 40 foot high cube cargo worthy containers in Shanghai uh, this year. Um, and as you can see here, just to zoom out a little bit, as you can see here, um, we seem to uh, have entered a bottoming out um, period. And this is around the $1,500 marks. That is around about 50% of the new build price. Um, which we all know um, is uh, sort of uh, yeah, uh, uh, relatively stable at the moment, held by the factories and the big uh, producers. Uh, so the uh, high cube cargo worthy uh, price uh, bottoms out correspondingly at about 50% of the new build uh, value. Uh, we see volatility picking up a little bit. That's the bottom right hand uh, uh, graph. It's still relatively low at five to 6% uh, week on week uh, price changes. Um, how does this look like uh, globally? These are, again, 40 foot high cube cargo worthy uh, container prices over the last 7, 30, and 90 days. So 7 days is yellow, um, 30 days is dark green, and uh, then 90 days is uh, the light green. As, as you can see, uh, most regions in significant negative territory, also no major shift over the past seven days, with the notable exception of uh, Latin America East, uh, which has seen a significant price jump over the past uh, week. And of course, here, Japan and Korea, that have already shown a positive uh, price movement over the last 30 days. Southern Africa also, um, but uh, to a lesser extent over the last seven days, significant increase here over the last 30 days. So pr correction of the of the price uh, deterioration that we've seen uh, before uh, since the beginning of this year. Um, that's it from the data. And then uh, sort of always a quick look at further headlines. Uh, what else does the, the press tells us? Um, read a very interesting survey results from the US where US banks report tighter credit. So uh, less credit giving out to uh, consumers and businesses alike. Uh, there's weaker loan demand and they may mainly favor, uh, tie this to less favorable or more uncertain economic outlook. So that's all the disruptions uh, and uncertainty that we've looked at over the past couple of weeks here at TBOI as well and an unexpected or an expected deterioration in collateral values and uh, credit quality. Um, and that's uh, particularly true in uh, commercial real estate where sort of the increase in um, interest rates has led to a decrease in credit quality um, correspondingly. Um, and then second big headline here, um, you've all read it uh, probably yesterday and the day before also in the press, uh, in British Columbia on the west coast of Canada, um, we are now into the third tentative agreement um, with uh, in the labor dispute. Um, the first two were rejected, the tentative agreements were rejected by the unions, um, and now this is the uh, third, tie, uh, third try, so let's see if uh, three times is the charm here. Uh, of course, everybody is hopeful that this disruption will be resolved relatively quickly, except maybe the carriers who uh, have benefited a little bit from the disruption, um, which has been seen in increasing freight rates, Trans-Pacific X, Asia to the US and Canada. Cool, that's it from me, from us for today. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, have a good rest of the week and see you on Friday. Take care.